Welcome to Collectible Motor Car of Atlanta. My name is Chris, and today we're doing our famous coffee with collectible. So go ahead and get your cup of joe and join us. Let's go ahead and check out my shoes. Today's July 4th, so I'm wearing the American flag shoes to support Independence Day. But we'll go ahead and start over here at the Resto Mod section. I've gotten a few really nice Resto Mods. We'll start off with this 68 Camaro here. This is an LS7 with a Whipple supercharger on it, making about 700 horsepower, full ride tech suspension, nine inch rear end, custom stainless exhaust, uh, power seats, full leather, Dakota digital gauges, six speed manual transmission. Just a really, really nice car. The paint is very nice on this car. This was a body off restoration. Uh, it's got big bare brakes on it, six piston brakes. It's got a big fat tire out back where it's been mini, mini tubs. Overall, a very, very nice car. And this car drives even better than it looks. An absolutely fantastic car. Uh, another really cool car that I just got in was is this 67 Chevelle. Uh, it's built by Schwartz Performance. Um, you know, just looking at it, just looks like a really cool custom Chevelle. But one really unique thing with this car is actually what's underneath the hood here. Put my cup of coffee down. So that is a... Viper V10 engine with a uh, Paxton supercharger on it. So this is making somewhere around 800 or about 700 horsepower. Overall, very, very clean car, custom paint, custom interior, all TMI interior. And the paint and body on this car is really, really nice. Whoever did it did a really good job. They deleted the drip rails there, uh, put custom door handles on it, and the body is super straight. And this purple paint, like in certain lighting, it looks black. So you can't even really tell that it's purple. Um, but just a really pretty color. Purple is definitely not my first choice of color. But this is a really sweet car. And the color works very well on it. Also, we just got the Notorious ZL1500 and the ZR1500. Um, these are one, these are two wicked trucks right here. Uh, this truck's making about 850 horsepower, 860 foot-pounds of torque. And then the red ZR1500 is making about a thousand horsepower. These are both incredible machines, built very well, frame off. Uh, frames have been powder coated, all new QA1 suspension, LT4 engine in this one, LT5 in the ZR1500, which hints the name. Uh, but overall, just very, very nice trucks. I've driven a lot of, lot of nice cars, and these two trucks right here just blow me away on how they drive. Just absolutely amazing, especially being pickup trucks. They're a blast to drive. Uh, Justin, the camera guy, got to drive this one yesterday. I think he uh, got to experience the power that these trucks make. But uh, just super, super nice trucks. I'll go ahead and pop the hood on this one. As you can see, both trucks have forged wheels with big wheel wood brakes on them. No expense spared on these builds. Both these trucks, before the work was done, were both low mileage trucks. They were both 50,000 mile trucks. So that alone is pretty cool that they were low mileage trucks to begin with. And they are original paint as well. I meant to mention that. So the only thing on the trucks that have been painted were the grills and the bumpers. And on this one right here, it had a cow hood. He took the cow hood and put a normal stock hood back on it. So the hood was painted. Uh, it's got paint protection film on the hood, the bumpers and the tailgate. And this one has it on the roof. Um, so definitely gives you an extra layer of protection for rock chips and stuff to keep the factory paint nice. But both these trucks are very, very nice trucks, very high end. Um, also got this really nice 67 Camaro. It's hugger orange. As you can tell by the hood, you know that something's going on underneath there. Super slick paint on this. It's got a 700 horsepower LSA motor underneath there. So that's a 6.2 6 liter V8 with a uh, supercharger on it, the LSA. Supercharger, four wheel disc brakes. You've got Recaro seats in there. They're power seats, heated and cooled. You've got the Tiger cage in there by Ride Tech. And this car also has Ride Tech suspension front and rear as well. This one, it's got the uh, 6L90 transmission in it. And whoever did the tuning on this car did a very excellent job on it, especially on the transmission tuning. It almost reads your mind when you're driving it. I mean, it's perfect. There's no need for paddle shifts or anything. Literally, you hit the gas, it finds the right gear and takes off. 
I got another really clean 68. This one's already sold. Customer will be picking it up next week. Super nice car. It had an LSA engine in it. It's a convertible custom TMI interior. Super nice though. So these cars don't last guys um, with the marketing that we do and the, you know, the extra work that goes into them with us getting them cleaned up and, and having our mechanic look over them and, and inspect them. Uh, we have a great reputation in the business. We're 5.0 star rating uh, on Google. So we really strive to go the extra mile for you guys, especially, you know, and with these classic cars, you definitely need to make sure they're sorted when they come in and when they leave. Uh, we're doing the best we can with that. Uh, as we grow, we'll continue to get better. But overall, we, we carry really high-end quality stuff. Uh, but at the same time, I also have the little bit more driver quality stuff. So we'll go over here and I'll show you a couple of cars that I'm talking about. Got a really nice 83 GMC. Pretty nice truck, mostly original. It's got the original 350 AC, power brakes. Uh, but this truck would be what I would consider a nice driver quality truck. Um, you could get in it, drive it. You wouldn't be worried about messing up a thirty or forty thousand dollar paint job, but yet it still shows very well. This one's actually still dirty. We haven't got it cleaned up yet. It's a new arrival, um, but overall, a nice truck. Uh, another good example of a driver quality is this '94 Chevy pickup truck here, the uh, OBS. This is 166,000 miles on it, but honestly, the truck looks like it's got 70,000 miles on it. Original paint, uh, original interior, very nice truck, very clean example of a well taken care of OBS. And these trucks have really gotten popular and they're continuing to uh, uh, go up in price. So if you guys are interested in this truck, definitely reach out to us. Another cool truck, a lot of people probably don't know what this is. This is the roadkill truck. The, uh, they called this the muscle truck. Um, this is not the actual truck. This is actually a tribute to this. Uh, local guy here that we're good, uh, good friends with that brings us a lot of cars. He had this one built. It was actually a frame off. So the frame's all powder coated. It's got a fuel injected 350 in it. But at first glance, it just looks like some beater. But uh, it's got a cool story behind it. If you watch Roadkill, I think it's on the Speed Channel. Um, you'll know what I'm talking about. It has, uh, uh, drawing a blank on the guy's name, Finnegan, uh, which is also Finnegan Garage on YouTube. Uh, he helped build the truck. Just a cool truck. If you know what it is, you know. If not, it just looks like an old junker, but it's actually a really nice truck. AC, serpentine belt, set up on it. But it's, it's almost an identical replica of the muscle truck on the show Roadkill. We'll walk back over here. I just got in a really cool C10. That's pretty cool. It's got a cool like paint scheme on it. I call it the Burger King truck. Uh, if you guys are, you know, kind of remember back in like the early 90s or uh, late 80s, you know, you kind of understand what I'm saying about the colors. You know, Burger King's logo was kind of these exact colors. And the cream reminds me of the old like uh, bench seats that you could sit at in the restaurant. They were this color. Um, but this is a really, really nice truck. Definitely has a unique look. You know, the square bodies are super popular and everyone's got red, everyone's got black, everyone's got, you know, white or whatever color. I mean, this is definitely a very unique look. And this was, uh, this was a, um, original factory like scheme that you could get on these trucks. They had a couple of different variants um, of paint schemes and de decals and stuff that you could get on these trucks. Um, but this one is a definitely a unique looking and really cool. Uh, when I seen it, I was like, man, I got to get this truck. It's super sweet, but a really nice truck, ice cold AC. I drove it back from the detail shop yesterday. AC was blown cold, just a good driver. Really, really nice. We're going to be somewhere around 32,000 on this. So if you're interested, holler at us. I want to show you this RX-7. So not only do we do the muscle cars and the classic cars, but we also sometimes get JDM cars. Um, very rarely do we get one that has an LS motor in it. But here lately, that kind of seems to be the, the trend because um, you can just get so much power out of the LS platform and it's just a nice tight package that fits in anything. So this is an LS3 in here and this thing is a blast to drive. I mean, it's crazy. This motor only makes like 360 to the wheel and you would think this car's 500, 600 horsepower. 
just because of the power to weight ratio on it. But really nice car. We just got this one in. Um, we're going to get it cleaned up and get pictures of it. But yeah, guys, I think the only other thing I wanted to show you is I got a pretty nice Fox body in here with a Roush supercharged engine making like 700 horsepower. This car is absolutely scary to drive, very fast. Um, overall, pretty clean car. Uh, they definitely crammed that Coyote in there. They uh, smoothed out all the, uh, the engine bay here, so got rid of all the holes. Definitely has a nice clean look under the engine bay. This one also has the 0304 Cobra independent rear suspension, uh, four wheel disc brakes. It's got the five low conversion on it. Just a super, super fun car to drive. Uh, it can be driven every day, nice and easy, or when you want to, you can lay it to the floor and scare your old lady. Uh, but super nice, got a nice uh, 73 Corvette here. We just got in as well. But guys, overall, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you uh, since the second episode. We're all the time getting new inventory in. I probably missed a few cars because we haven't done a video lately, but we wanted to do an update, walk around the showroom. We definitely got some really nice cars. I would say those four cars right there are pretty uh, top notch and they're pretty rare, especially the trucks. Those are one of a kind builds. Um, as far as the LT5 truck, I only know of two other trucks that are built like that and they were built by the same builder. So definitely a uh, pretty unique truck. And the Chevelle's one off. I mean, I don't know of any other Chevelle that's got a Viper engine in it. So that's pretty unique as well. Um, the Camaro, super high end build, super quality, and very, very fast. I mean, LS7 with a supercharger on it. I mean, it's pretty insane. 427 cubic inches. And then you add a supercharger on top of it. And I mean, it's just a, it's an insane ride. But guys, with that being said, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. I'm going to finish my coffee and hopefully sell some cars today. But I hope you guys enjoy your 4th of July, and we'll catch you on the next one.